welcome to ET Land. Today I'm going to do a follow up video on the updated Ether SX2 guide for Nintendo Switch, a modded one. So I just quickly shown you the previous settings of uh, this game. I use 2x resolution for this because it doesn't really matter uh, whether it is 1x or 2x for this game. Um, the, the performance is bad. You can see there are some dips and some um, incorrect rendering for sounds and speed here and there because this game is too demanding, was too demanding for um, a switch to emulate, especially for the previous version of Ether X SX2. So um, I had to set the maximum speed limit to 200% to get some kind of performance increase and you can tell that it is not ideal at all and now i'm going to show you um a clip that i'm going to use as a uh, contrast to the performance after the settings you can see there are many framescapes framescapes and it is kind of weird to see um it's kind of smooth but then you know you can tell that there are many incorrect um rendering for uh the speed and stuff like that so now i'm going to teach you how to install the latest version of ether sx2 that can help you to increase the performance a lot First of all, search for the official site of Ether SX2, then click Downloads, and you scroll down to the um, Close Testing of Alpha. From here, you can download the latest version, the latest build of Ether SX2. Although these are not the most stable one, but you can have the latest feature and it actually helps to increase the performance especially uh, for this time's video if this is your first time to download a file and or install a an app on your switch Lite, it is very likely that there will be some prompts like here to ask you ask for your permission or ask you to enable something so just click yes or enable or allow then lets you to install the latest version now that we have got into ether sx2 we click the left hand corner to bring up the menu and then we can go to the settings and then um, first of all we do not have anything to fix in general and for system we want to go to the ee cycle rate click the smallest one on top then we go to graphics now we have more options for upscale multiplier for those who doesn't care to sacrifice your uh, resolution for a smoother performance i would suggest you to use 0 0.75 and for those who cares about your resolution I would say 1.25 is the sweetest point. And for those who have not changed their maximum speed limit in the limit control, speed limit control, I would suggest you to change it from 200% to 120% for your maximum speed. So now we can see the performance of 0.75. Uh, times the native resolution so things are a lot smoother we don't have dips we don't have audio issues however there um, if you take a good look at the screen um, the resolution is absolutely down and it looks kind of rough on our switch screen but um, you can see in comparison to the very first clip I've shown you, this obviously performs a lot better. Now we can walk around the city to see the performance. Basically, it will give us 59 to 60 or 60-ish 60 um, 
uh, VPS so this is very very smooth however you can still see the screen is very rough so um, I would say to me um, rather than pushing the performance to the smoothness um, range I would prefer to get a more balanced performance therefore my suggestion is to um, go to graphics and to set the resolution to 1.25 of the native resolution so if we walk around we can see that uh, we can still get 59 or 60 something around that for a frame per second however um, if you take a good look at it we can still tell that there are some frame skip happening and it is not as smooth as uh, it was in 0 0.75 uh, of the native revolution resolution um, however I would definitely prefer setting it at 1.25 because um, you can see the performance is smooth enough to uh, have a good playtime and the resolution is good enough so that it won't um, kind of distract us uh, when we see it on our switch screen because this still looks good on the switch screen however um, it doesn't uh, look too rough so that's all for my suggestions of the settings and last but not least i would like to um, have one thing to bring up uh, some games are still too heavy for switch even though we set it to the lowest resolution like 0 0.5 it won't boot games won't boot would not boot they will never boot because they are too heavy for a switch so if you are really interested into heavy games on ps2 i would suggest not to play on our switch however if you are just willing to play some games that are not that demanding for example 2d games or some games that are easier to emulate switch is still a good option for you to emulate ps2 games since performance varies amount games I would suggest you to try 0 0.75 first if it runs you can go up to uh, 1.25 x of the resolution to see if the performance is still there that's all for today's video i hope it helps you and hope to see you in my next video bye